Hello team, in this video, I am presenting you yet another TUI for Olama. TUI stands for Terminal User Interface. In contrary to Graphical User Interface or GUI, you use this TUI in your terminal. It is a um, drop-in replacement for CLI because some people feel it cumbersome to work with command line interface. So they prefer TUI so that they could select different options, different menus for managing the software with the help of keyboard keys. So in this video, we are going to install this tool Parlama, which is a TUI for Olama. Olama is one of the best tool and easiest and fastest tool to run large language models locally easily. If you don't know what Olama is, please check out my channel. I have done like heaps of videos on them and uh, you should be able to find a lot of them to install Olama and then see what exactly that is. I already have Olama running on my system. So we will be first installing this part Lama and then we will see what exactly and how exactly it works. So it has just been released by the way, it is still under active development and it is being touted as powerful terminal or text user interface application designed to simplify the management and use of Olama based large language models. To be honest, I believe using Olama without any TUI is still quite easy, but we will see uh, how it enables us to manage um, multiple models maybe. And then we'll see there are a few key features to this software, including it has got an easy to use interface for interacting with Olama LLMs. It has got dark and light mode support. You can also have your own custom themes. And then uh, installation is quite flexible. Flexible here means that you can install it with pip, with pipx or dev mode. You can have a customizable data directory and theme setting, and you can even do model quantization, but you would need to have some Docker and few other things to, and I don't think so that is something you um, very much useful here. But I think uh, as far as this text user interface or TU is concerned, seems interesting. So let's have a quick look at that. Before I install it and show you how it works, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU, which I'm going to use for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website with a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so let's see what this part Lama is by going to our terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. And by the way, I'm using one GPU card, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. And you don't need that much VRAM in order to run Olama or this DUI. Okay, so let me clear the screen. Also, I will be using Conda to create a virtual environment to keep everything separate from my local system. And by the way, you can, you don't need to install Conda and you can even go with Python's virtual environment. But I prefer Conda because it's quite easy for me to use. I'm just going to do Conda, create Parlama environment, and then it is creating this environment. It is going to activate it into same go. So that is done. Let me clear the screen. Now, <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier, I already have Olama installed. So if I do Olama list, so it says that Olama is not running. So I'm just going to um, start the service or sudo system detail start Olama. It has started and then let me check if it is still running or I need to enable it. So Olama is running, which is good. Let me clear the screen. And if I do Olama list now, so I have no Olama model running at the moment. Olama is installed. Now in order to <clears throat> run any model, all you need to do is do Olama and then maybe pull and you could say here um, pi or anything. And if you don't know which model to download, let me actually show you which it is quite easy. So let's go to Olama's website on the top right click on models. And from here, you can select any model of your choice. For example, if you want to go with Phi 3. So here you see that we have different Phi 3s here. And if you scroll down, you can see that these are the Phi 3 mini and stuff. And it all depends upon your use case, which model do you like? And as I don't want to go into more detail on this one, so I'm just going to select Phi 3 mini. 
a very lightweight one so i'm just going to go back to my terminal and then i'll just say olama run 53 mini press enter you can run means that it will go into the run mode immediately pull means it is it will just download it so it is almost done it is pulling the layer of that model and then it is going to do the checksum of it and that should be all good and ready almost there model is downloaded now and now it is verifying the checksum should be done any second and model is downloaded so let me quit from here And now if you do olama list this is our 53 mini running on our local system okay so now let's clear the screen now let's install our par llama here for that let's make a maybe a quick directory make directory par llama let's cd to that directory and now use pip command to install it i'm just doing pip install par llama and it is downloading and installing it well, let's wait for it to finish do not take too long it is quite lightweight and that is a good thing about it and that is already done let me clear the screen let's see if it has put in any file nope that is good now in order to run it you can simply use parlama and if you do parlama dash v it is going to show you the newest version if you want to see what options are available just use dash h flag and these are the help it is going if you want to change the theme so for that parlama dash t so by default it goes with the light theme if you want to change it to light one just do parlama dash t light but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to clear screen and i'm just going to run it by typing parlama press enter and this is our parlama here and it has automatically selected by three mini and you can even so i'm just if i do by three it has selected it and if you want to know what options are available you see that the very bottom you have filter refresh pull pull all push copy and all that stuff which you can check out and also at the very top it says tell you which model is selected what is the size and then 100 percent it is offloaded onto gpu and then it is um, still on the gpu now So here, if you look at the top, it is divided in, into local side tools and create. Local means all the models which are already present in your local machine with Olama. Site means if you click site or go with the tab, you will see that these are all the models which are available on Olama at the moment. And you can, for example, pull them out. And if I just go here and maybe I'll type Mistral. So you see there is a Mistral 7 billion model and you can simply use the tab to select it and then you see mistral is selected if you want to pull it download it simply type control p here and then you see here it has started pulling the mistral at the bottom it should become local afterwards almost there it is it has pulled the layer it will check the checksum as we did earlier with the olama itself you see it is just showing you here looks good do not take too long now and now it is telling you that the local model list has been refreshed it's there so if you go back there on the local you will see that mistral model is here and if you just type mistral here in filter it is going to show you mistral and then you can select it and then you can either refresh it you can filter it you can even pull all it pull all the model or you could copy it from there and if you are looking for help just simple type uh, press f1 key it is showing you all the help which is available as what you can do with it so looks quite nifty i mean quite uh quite a good olama manager and there are all the keys and there are a lot of options here which you can check for example it says control p means pull all the local model from olama i'm not i don't think so that's a good idea now one thing which is still under progress is something like uh, this create or tools create model it is still work in progress so you can just create your own 
quantize model locally and then you can push it to olama by using this tool seems quite nifty i think when it is ready we will definitely try it out and then there are a few logs which you can check out as what is happening here and in order to quit all you need to do is to press control q and it will take you back to your uh, terminal screen so pretty good uh, interesting tool i will drop the link to its github repo in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching